When you get married, you hire a wedding coordinator. They will help you pretty much with everything from budgeting to flower arrangements to managing the guest list. But half of us, we get divorced and the emotional and financial turmoil that we go through is gonna be the hardest hit ever. It's a much bigger deal. Well, 50% of marriages aren't forever, 99% of divorces are. And that's where I come in. You can think of a divorce coach as, as your wedding coordinator, but on steroids. Basically, I help clean that pile of shit that you're standing in. Today, we're gonna discuss what a divorce coach does and how they can save you a shitload of money, but this is not going to be a commercial. I promise you that because I'm gonna give you some great tips and out of the box thinking to get you started. So let's start revving that engine. When you're going through a divorce, you get an attorney and a counselor. Here's my first professional advice, and let me be clear that up until I became a divorce coach, I didn't feel this way. I just thought that both my divorce attorneys sucked, but experience has taught me to expect mediocrity. Don't outsource your critical thinking to an attorney. They're terrible problem solvers. You do that, and you're using hope as a tactic. While divorce attorneys are a necessary evil, counselors, they're not but they're not necessarily experts in divorce and you need someone that's gonna know their shit and give you some direct guidance. Say you're going through a divorce and can't see your kids. Just about everybody's gonna agree that you get a good lawyer and that's true. Standard practice and you need one, but they're reactive, not proactive. They're wait and see people and hence, they're way behind. Now you need them to preserve your rights, but they tend to be pencil pushers and intentionally or not, they usually cause more problems than solve them. Many are in it for the almighty dollar, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that as long as you get what you're paying for. But as I work with them, the more I work with them, the more that I'm convinced that it's an insatiable thirst for greed that drives them. So to paraphrase President Reagan, practicing law is supposed to be the second oldest profession. But as a divorce coach, I've kind of realized that it bears a striking resemblance to the first. As a divorce coach, I help guide you in finding an appropriate divorce attorney by preparing you with questions and what to look for in them. In a recent poll, 58% of men said that they were either dissatisfied or highly dissatisfied with their divorce attorney. And according to LegalMatch.com, 15% of clients fired their divorce attorney after retaining them. But by then, you're looking at the five-figure mark. Here are four simple things that you can do to offset the cost of your attorney. The obvious is actually not as obvious as you think. The first one is to get the right type of attorney. 95% of you do not need a litigation attorney and yet the majority of us, we hire them. Now litigation attorneys, they're paid to go to trial and the difference is in the tens of thousands of dollars. Next is work with your divorce coach to be well prepared and efficient when speaking with your attorney because while our job is to help you solve the problem, their job is to make sure that you're legally not getting fucked over. Work with their paralegal because they charge half the price, usually. And last, a little known fact is that you can actually bargain the hourly rate with your attorney. Now, how about counseling? Counseling is completely underrated, but it takes a shitload of time, and sometimes you have to go to several different counselors to find the one that fits you. You see them for 45 minutes a week, and that's going to take months, several months. But let me repeat, counselors, they're experts, they're necessary to, and they're there to help you. But right now, right now your house, is, it's on fire and it's burning and you need help. You need guidance right now and, and just giving it time, it's a waste of your fucking time. And that's where I come in. I'm your specialist, I'm your cleaner upper, I'm your consultant, your coach. See, as your coach, I work on your recovery and I help you get your balls back plus some interest. The new you, because let's face it, the last time that you were single, you were probably in your 20s or 30s and times they've changed. And as a newly single guy, you don't want to be average. You have a responsibility. A responsibility to make you better and it, it takes discipline and sometimes when you love what you had more than you love who you are, it's time to get help. Right now you need help. You feel like you just wanna die and you're in real pain and you need answers today, not next week, but now. Adding to your angst is the time and expense that it takes to find an attorney. You think you have one, so you pay the 5,000 or so retainer at $400 an hour. That's 12 hours of work and they'll promise you the world until you pay them. 
Responding to a divorce can take about three or more hours of work. So from the get-go, your first response is going to be over a grand. Meanwhile, your priorities are to your kids and, and there's no stipulation for your parenting time and you're just not getting to see them as you should. Here you are, you're asking for 50%, but she's giving you every other weekend, which is, it's about 18%. So you pitch to your attorney that your ex, she's calling all the shots. Why isn't he helping you? The response? We'll draw up a stipulation. This is shit that should have happened months ago. You go to mediation in four weeks and nothing happens for the first time. You're now halfway through the retainer. Three months go by and not only are you in despair, but nothing's changed. Who knows, maybe you're like the 15% of men that got a restraining order, so things just got worse. It doesn't have to go this way. I take a proactive approach to protect you from any kind of order, and moreover, what the fuck? Why didn't your attorney coach you to proactively address custody with your ex or during mediation? Well, the answer is actually reasonable. It's not their job, and that's where I fill in the gap. You know, earlier I mentioned litigation attorneys. There are so many other, much less expensive options like a mediation or a collaborative attorney. While over 50% of men are unhappy with their divorce attorney, I estimate that 90% are grateful to their mediation attorney. It's a love fest. It's like night and day. An average divorce in California is upwards of $20,000 per person. That's the average. It could be a lot more. My first divorce was almost a six-figure divorce. A mediation attorney is three to $8,000 per couple. You could pay for it by yourself and at least save $10,000. And data shows that if you go in front of a judge, you're probably gonna get the same outcome than you would have had you paid for a mediation attorney. So what's a good demographic that should go with mediation? Well, if you already have a parenting plan or if you agree in almost every issue in the divorce or if you have a pre or a post nup or if you have equal distribution of assets or if you wanna save money, then you get a mediation attorney. But most of the time, often, the petitioner, they're difficult and they're emotional and that's when you lose them. You lose them after they retain their attorney. But believe me, if they fit the demographics described above, they're going to regret the outcome because it could have been so much more affordable. Meanwhile, you're losing it. She's in your fucking head. And you could be having a great day at work and out of nowhere, boom, she just pops into your head. And you wish that she could just see you smiling. Yet other times, especially during litigation, the paranoia kicks in and you think that she's just stalking you or has people stalking you. Yet no one listens. Here you are, the most scared you've ever been, and all you hear is, just get over it. People just don't realize that every now and then, we men, that we just wanna have a good cry at the nail salon. Yeah, no one, there was no plan B here. You're lonely, you can't see your kids, your confidence is shot and your attorney is costing you that savings that you worked so hard for and worse. You dress like a dad. You need a divorce coach, son. I specialize in men for several reasons. The obvious being that I was born with two balls. Being divorced not once, but twice, I already know the system is stacked against you. But also, we don't do nearly as much preparation and research as we need to be doing. And that's, that's a double negative right there. We just don't do our homework. That's why I do it for you. And that's what makes me the best, that I love the challenge. To me, you can get a dog surfing instructor to coach a woman because it's so much easier for the women during their divorce. To me, a woman winning a, a, a divorce is not a real accomplishment. The way I see it, she already stole your balls and she's getting great use out of them. A common phrase that I hear from my clients is, fuck yeah, Renee, I'm glad I was so prepared. That's how I know that I'm doing my job. And to you, it's a great feeling when you tell your ex that you're calling the shots, that you did your research and that you're well ahead of her. Being a divorce coach is not something that I sought out. It, speaking figuratively, it landed on my lap. I, like many guys, I was trying to save my marriage and so I called a relationship coach and he made sense, he was good. I didn't sign up, but he did invite me to his uh, Facebook group. The purpose of it was to keep marriages together. That's what I thought. But what I saw horrified me. Men watching their wife cheating for the fourth time, having children with other men, while the husband is still trying to keep their marriage together. Some had been trying for longer than I was married. They were being taken advantage of. So I wrote an uplifting message, a, a moving forward message, and the response was incredibly well received. And that's when I realized that these men, 
that they've been underestimating the size of their balls this entire time. You know why I became a divorce coach? Because I'm the best. And when I'm done with you, my job is to leave you at your finest. So here's how a good divorce coach works. Remember, we're not therapists. Our job is to help you clean that pile of shit that you're standing in and to help you regain the balls that shriveled into ovaries. A good divorce coach's job is to establish immediate trust. They need a healthy combination of strategic and analytical thinking to address what you should and what you shouldn't expect from us as well as to leave you with a plan. We anticipate potential pitfalls and prepare you for them and we keep it real. We don't ask what she did to you, but instead where you're at. Our job is to get to know you, the man, to determine where you're at, find the resources available to you and use them accordingly. From finances to style to looks, we get the entire man and help building you a, a new and thriving life. A really good divorce coach does not get involved in the relationship if you're still in it. Your mind has to be made up. In other words, we don't fuck with family. Now there's a lot, actually quite a bit of women coaches that, that they do that. And, and not only do I think they're bitches, but karma, it has a nice place for them but we have to be realistic. And yeah, I've told people things that they didn't want to hear and that does include addressing reasons why they have to move on because, well, I believe that the people worth believing are those that tell you what you need to hear rather than what you want to hear. As mentioned earlier, a divorce coach, we're involved in helping you through the process of finding an appropriate divorce attorney and in helping you with questions to ask them because an intelligent divorce lawyer will treat the initial consultation like a job interview, and it should be. They need to be at their best. If they're wishy-washy, fuck them. A good men's divorce coach, they need to worry about your safety as well. Yeah, your safety, because here's a secret. Women, they make shit up. Guys, it's not a coincidence that if your ex is ever going to file a restraining order, it's gonna be during the divorce. According to n2dv.gov, 80% of these orders, they're frivolous. Straight out bullshit. It's called the silver bullet tactic and it's fucked up. That's what it is. When a woman uses the silver bullet, they gain leverage in their divorce and in custody. They gain possession of the marital home, temporary custody of the children and gain temporary spousal support. A really good divorce coach will also prepare the man to negotiate with their spouse and address child custody issues because not seeing your kids is it's unacceptable and your ex saying that you can visit your kids whenever, is her way of saying she gets 100% custody. Friendly or not, you're gonna need a guarantee and that's done through the court system. Strategies like these alone and many more, they're gonna pay for itself and give you something much, much larger. And that's peace of mind. Because imagine being able to have 24 hour access to your divorce coach. Imagine forming a strategic plan with somebody that's been through this with, uh, it's, it's gotta be over a thousand guys now. I've lost count. You know who likes divorce coaches? Child Protective Services, counselors, mediation attorneys, and judges. Judges, they love us because we work in solving problems. But you know who doesn't? On occasions, your attorneys, for reasons aforementioned, your ex-wife, because, well, you'll know your rights, and narcissists. The beauty of this is that, yeah, you, you can pay for it and not get dinged in court like you would buying a car or a home. It's self-improvement, it's, it's mental health, it's recovery, it, it just makes sense. Divorce coaches do much more than that. This is only the tip of the iceberg. We work with you to help build that well-rounded man. We'll push you to be more self-aware and do self-realization because that's how you get ahead of the game and that's how you win in your divorce because you know who your enemy is? It's you. It's you going against yourself. Now, clearly not every divorce coach is the same. We come from different backgrounds and perspectives and we have different value propositions and business models. Some will charge by the hour and others will charge by subscription services and yet others will charge by the program itself. Some work on an individual basis with the client while others work through pre-recorded content and, or webinars through the group. Me, I have a unique variety of individual one-on-ones along with private content within the group and webinars. My next webinar is on well, keeping your home during the divorce. And did I mention that you can pretty much get a hold of me any, any time. But then recent, of course. I'm like your chat GPT, but for divorce. Except, I keep it real. My program medical, or short for men's divorce coaching, is structured, yet tailored to your specific needs, and it's in perpetuity. I solve problems, from hiring the right attorney, to fighting for custody, to your style, and dating. 
And if you don't believe me, just look through my channel, check out my Google reviews, or make that appointment. I'll get you there. As for the price, well, I can't give you that because it's always changing. I charge per value I bring. But unlike attorneys, I don't charge by the hour and my clients, they take advantage of this and I appreciate it. I would be taking advantage of it also. I guess you could say that I have a strong price to earnings ratio. I'm your blue chip stock. Oh, speaking of investing, invest in yourself. It'll pay you in dividends. We'll get you through this. That, I assure you. Let's put it this way. I, I do my research and my price point will not only pay for itself, highly reasonable, and yet still below market price. I've worked with and studied with many coaches and when it comes to divorce coaches, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't the best. Believe me, you want me in your corner. Let me do the worrying for you. So schedule a free and confidential consultation. Just go to mensdivorcecoaching.com and schedule a time or just click on the link in the comment section. It's underneath. Because when it comes to coaching, I'm your motherfucker. Thank you very much.